Hey everyone, Andrew with Prime Investigator Advice at PrimeInvestigatorAdviceHQ.com. I am making this video in, in response to uh, uh, a Facebook user who uh, went to the Prime Investigator Advice uh, Facebook page and asked a question and asked if uh, you know she knew that she could rotate videos, um, or excuse me, pictures, but she didn't know if it was possible to rotate video. Uh, and the reason she had asked is she wanted to know if she could just videotape with her covert sunglasses like this. I thought that was a great question. I really thought about it. So what I did was I stuck the uh, I stuck the video from from these covert glasses into uh, Windows Live Movie Maker, and uh, I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like uh, when you rotate it, and uh, and how different it looks to uh, to the to the person seeing the video. So let's take a look. Okay, so I uh, I took that video and I put it into uh, the video I took from the uh, the covert sunglasses, and I put it into Windows Live Movie Maker. It's free, um, so it's it's a good starter program to use, and um, and so this is what it looks like right here. And it's going to skip a little bit because my computer's running really slow. It's uh, it's not Windows Live Movie Maker by any means, um, and uh, so that this is what it would look like um, normal view. Um, you know, you're just videotaping uh, uh, horizontally. So I'm going to skip ahead here, and it's going to be a little choppy, but the main point is to get to the point where it's uh, vertical. And I uh, put these on my uh, my shirt collar, and and this is essentially what you see. So, you know, to answer your question, yes, you can rotate the video. In Windows Live Movie Maker, it does not look that great. This is what happens in Windows Live Movie Maker, and that is just not good. Um, but you know it you're getting a little more narrow view and um you're losing it's not as forgiving as the wide the wide view when it's horizontal um another thing i was thinking about is is you know if you put something on your shirt collar um you force yourself to have to be pointing your body towards the subject you know at all times if you have the sunglasses in your hand you can turn your hand in different directions and you do, you're not always constantly having to stare or be facing the subject. You know, you don't want them to, to by any means, remember you later, you know, in most cases. So, um, anyways, this is the uh, this is the horizontal view you end up getting. I don't recommend it, but it's entirely possible to do. I don't personally like the way it looks in a Windows Live Movie Maker. But, so, I ended up sticking in this a little more expensive video editing software called Camtasia. And, let's see here. And... And this is the video in Camtasia. You know, this is me putting together a movie for you guys. But um, I I rotated the video here, and you know what? Didn't look that bad. It wasn't horrible. So this is what the same video we're just looking at. What is like Movie Maker? And if you rotate, it's not bad. It's just a little more narrow view. So um, to answer your question, yes, it can be done. Um, you know, you're gonna have to splice some video here and there if you're doing that. You know, horizontal and vertical later, and then you'll have to tape them. You know, back together after you rotate them, but. Um, definitely possible if uh, if that's the way you want to do it. Um, you know, you're gonna have, like I said, a slightly narrow view. So I hope this helps you, and I hope this answers your question. And for anybody who just, you know, was concerned about rotating video, maybe they videotape backwards one time. Yes, you can rotate your video back to normal. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. All right, that wraps it up. I hope you guys got something from that. I um, hope it answered a question that maybe you, you never thought about or you know, maybe you were thinking about it and just never got around to figuring out how it was going to work out. Um, but that's basically it. If you haven't caught the podcast yet, check it out. You can check it out on iTunes. Um, just search Prime Investigator Advice. It'll give, you, it'll give you a logo on the right sidebar. Uh, I think I just got it on Podcast Feed as well. And hopefully pretty soon it'll be on Stitcher. Um, we're only three episodes in. Um, I'm going to be recording another one within the next couple days here to get it posted. And uh, yeah, so you got the videos, you got the podcast, uh, and then you got the uh, the website at prideinvestigatorvicehq.com. I hope you guys like the video. More to come later.